Well, hey guys, there's a new TikTok trend that we need to talk about. I'm laughing inside, but before we get into it, make sure you're subscribed, especially if you like skincare content from me, a dermatologist. Hit the bell notification, it'll let you know when my videos go live. Consider following me on TikTok where I keep track of these crazy trends or Instagram if you prefer short form content. A lot of people have been tagging me on this trend of taping your face. And this is actually nothing new. I mean, I'm sure you've heard of frownies before. They've been around since like 1889. Now with age and accumulation of sun damage, our skin loses a lot of elasticity, we get sag. And this taping thing, it's actually something that people have been doing for a long time, just to kind of give themselves a temporary facelift, almost like a form of pre-makeup. But people on TikTok are taking it so far as to wear these things like overnight, claiming that it will immobilize the muscles in your face, prevent you from contracting your face in your sleep, and prevent you from developing wrinkles. is a bit of a stretch. Now they do make a variety of patches for the face that have a wrinkle smoothing effect, but they do that by trapping hydration in the skin. As you guys know from my videos, your skin loses more water when you sleep. It makes your skin more prone to dryness. And a lot of these face patches are made out of like medical grade silicone, similar to what you find in a silicone scar sheet for scars. It does definitely have a skin smoothing effect, but it doesn't actually prevent wrinkles. It really just temporarily smooths out the skin. What I've seen on TikTok is people taking kinesiology tape. And if you don't know what that is, I'll put an image of what it looks like here. It's basically a type of tape for, you know, taping knees and injuries. So I see people do, using this on their face and I'm like, so what, what, what are you doing? It's not doing anything. It's not immobilizing your face. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess it's relatively harmless aside from the fact that you can develop irritation from the tape and anywhere where you have the skin occluded, especially with a tape that's not meant to be put on your skin, you certainly can not only develop irritation, but you can get like acne breakouts. Now people wear these during the day. I think it would be really hard to camouflage them under makeup. I think a lot of people end up putting the tapes like here where you can't see to kind of give a lift. Ooh, I kind of like that. Maybe I should start taping my face um, to just kind of lift up. In the past, most people that I have seen doing this seem to understand the fact that this is really just like a temporary makeup thing, but now they're taking it so far as to be sleeping with these. I suppose it could also give you kind of a visual representation of what a facelift might achieve for you, depending on how the tape is placed. The other claim I've seen is that taping your face and going to sleep with that can help decrease the creasing on your skin from like your pillowcase and that sort of thing. I'm not so sure about that because yeah, sure, wherever you have the tape, it's gonna smooth out the skin, but it doesn't mean that your skin's not gonna crease to some extent when you roll over. Sleeping on your back can definitely reduce creasing, and you guys know I have that Sleep and Glow pillow. It really does provide a nice supportive cradle to the sides of the face, uh, preventing twisting, but I don't see how tape would do that. And if anything, it can be kind of hard to get the tape to lie down flat and not be creasing your skin. So that seems like a pretty big stretch to me that taping your face would prevent puffiness and sleep creases. The real way though to prevent sagging and loss of elasticity is to protect your skin from the sun uh, and healthy lifestyle factors. That being said, I think going to sleep with tape on your face can get in the way of a good night's rest. So do I think this is something you should be doing? And I mean, if you want to for the cosmetic temporary lifting effect prior to makeup, sure, do your thing. Just know it can be irritating. 
but uh, it's not something I would go after. I do like those silicone patches though, and I do find them effective for offering a temporary wrinkle smoothing effect, but TikTok doesn't just stop there. Have you guys seen this trend taking it a step further where people are taping their mouths shut before they go to sleep? I'm not making this up. The moment we've all been waiting for, mouth tape. Taping your mouth shut before bed is really important to your breathing, to your face structure, if you can imagine that. I'm gonna make a whole entire video on it, but I get mine specifically on Amazon. If you look up mouth tape though, you're gonna see a whole bunch of X-shaped ones, which I really can't stand. I like this one because you can cut it to any size and you can reuse it a bunch of times. It doesn't break you out around the mouth. I really, really like it. And it has completely transformed my sleep when I started using it. Mouth taping, mouth taping, try it. Get this on Amazon, sleep with it. It prevents you mouth breathing all night. Um, you're gonna start to get the deepest sleep you'll ever experience. Um, it's a little bit uncomfortable at first and you do have to get used to it, but try it out. And I can share the techniques and the benefits um, if you're interested. It's another night that I don't have the mouth breathing tape. So I'm using the scotch. I've noticed like now I'm even more mindful of my breathing during the day. Like I'm catching myself mouth breathing and correcting it, which is great. Anyways, I'm going to tape the middle of my mouth and then update in the morning. The tape worked again i want to continue to do it i might actually get like some mouth tape eventually though but i'm really enjoying like breathing through my nose and not waking up with my mouth like dry and they claim that it's going to help you to to breathe through your nose and not mouth breathe now breathing through your mouth it can it's not as good as breathing through your nose your nose is really good at filtering the air whereas your mouth doesn't do that your nose can kind of lubricate the air a little bit better what do I think about this mouth taping trend? I think it's a little extreme, ridiculous, and potentially harmful. To be clear, they make special mouth tape. I know. <laughs> uh, there's special mouth tape that you can buy that's meant to go on the mouth, but other people are being like, oh, I've got plenty of tape in the, in the drawer. I'm just gonna use the tape I have. Don't do that. Like duct tape, ooh, very dangerous. You know, very, potentially very irritating, harmful. Uh, other types of tape, you know, the adhesive can be very irritating. It's funny to me because one of the most common complaints that I hear from patients uh, is that they get irritation from adhesives and bandages. I mean, that's really common actually. And now there's this trend on the internet of taping your face. It's like, okay. Uh, but as far as the claim that's going to help you breathe through your nose, um, better way to do that is to, during the day when you're awake, uh, to do some breathing exercises where you focus on breathing through your nose, trying to be more, more mindful of breathing through your nose. And then when you go to sleep, you're going to be more inclined to breathe through your nose. Now, why might somebody mouth breathe? There's some potentially underlying health problems that could lead you to mouth breathe. Perhaps you have seasonal allergies or some kind of obstruction in the nose, like a nasal polyp, make you, making it more difficult to get in air. If you have that type of underlying health problem and you go taping your mouth shut, there is a significant risk that you're just not gonna get enough oxygen. And that has serious health consequences. Uh, hypo that hypoxia, lack of oxygen, it can lead to high blood pressure and a myriad of other health problems. The other claim I've seen is that by taping your mouth shut, it's going to help you not snore. One of the reasons people snore is actually sleep apnea. Um, they get blockage of the passage of air episodically, and that's why you hear them snore. So if you are snoring, rather than taping your mouth shut, I definitely encourage you to see your healthcare provider, your primary care doctor, for evaluation. Perhaps you may need to undergo what's called a sleep study to find out if you have sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is pretty serious, actually. Uh, similar to what I was saying earlier about lack of oxygen and good quality air when you sleep, when you have sleep apnea, that can lead to high blood pressure and a myriad of health problems, cardiovascular disease, headaches, 
It's daytime sleepiness. It is not something to take lightly. So if you snore, you should definitely talk to your doctor. It's possible that you have sleep apnea. There's a device called a CPAP that can be you know, given to you. It's covered by insurance typically. And there you go. So don't go taping your mouth shut to stop the snoring. Definitely tell your doctor if you are snoring. Likewise, if you have seasonal allergies, the nasal mucosa may be kind of swollen, inflamed, and as a result, you're not as inclined to breathe through your nose. You're more prone to mouth breathing. Talk to your doctor, get your allergies addressed. If you have nasal polyps, you know, maybe you need to see an ear, nose, and throat doctor or something like that for evaluation and get it fixed. But the problem with the mouth taping is, like I said, you're not getting enough good quality air in. You can have you know, problems with oxygenation. I imagine that it probably is quite disruptive to the quality of sleep that you get. And that in and of itself, a poor night's sleep can definitely set you up for failure. It's associated with a lot of health problems and injury because when you're sleep deprived, you are not as sharp. It's kind of like being, it's, it's akin to being uh, under the influence of alcohol actually. And I would imagine you would just feel very, very anxious having your mouth taped shut. Is it just me? That seems like it would be really anxiety inducing. I can't imagine going to sleep with your mouth taped shut. Not to mention the tape under occlusion there, that can be very irritating to your mouth. Although I will say this, many people drool in their sleep, the saliva collects around their mouth and that can cause a lot of irritation, angular chelitis. Uh, but I don't know that taping your mouth shut is the right approach. Instead, just try and train yourself to sleep on your back. If you are getting a lot of drool collecting around the mouth, just put a little petrolatum like Vaseline, CeraVe healing ointment, my favorite, in the corners of your mouth so that that saliva, which can be pretty irritating, doesn't collect there and lead to breakdown of the skin and subsequent colonization with the yeast that are naturally present in your mouth. And then you get um, those white patches, angular chelitis. It can be pretty painful and uncomfortable. you are looking for just a quick, easy way to improve your health, these are literally all of the benefits of nose breathing. If you snore, try mouth taping. If you're constantly getting cavities or gum disease or tooth decay, try mouth taping. If your immune system isn't that great, try mouth taping. If you wake up feeling like crap or feeling hungover without the alcohol, try mouth taping. This is literally what I do. I pull over the sides. Okay, I am. Have you guys ever taped your face? I saw a YouTube video, I can't remember when it was, a while ago, of an older woman who used some of these facial, this facial taping thing. And I have to say the results were pretty impressive. She didn't do it like they're doing it on TikTok where you like sleep with it. She just did it prior to putting on her makeup and she concealed the tapes underneath her hair. And it actually was, pretty pretty impressive, the results that she got. It was like this halo thing that went around her head, almost like a headband, I wanna say. And she taped, she taped the sides of her face. And it gave a very nice lifting effect. And it actually looked very natural. It didn't look, you know, like she had tape on her face. I actually have seen people on TikTok using like regular tape that you would use to tape a package on their mouth. And that's kinda scary. Tape can be pretty irritating. All right, so obviously you shouldn't do this. Tape your mouth shut. I think it is potentially problematic. Is it the worst thing I've seen on TikTok? Sadly, no. There are a lot more harmful things out there. But man, that app, stuff just takes off. Sometimes I think the people who create these things, I think they're just trolling to try and dupe people. I can never really tell if they're serious or not. I feel like, you know, maybe they're just trying to get attention. Do they honestly believe some of these things work? Uh, you would be baffled by the things that just suddenly become popularized. But you have to be really careful when it comes to these apps and attractive people because I find that some of the biggest grifters on, on these apps, I think they're successful because they are attractive. And attractive people are more likely to be believable. It's just, I guess, human nature. Attractive people are often more likely to be hired even if they are less qualified than the competing applicant. And now with TikTok, where you have all these filters, it's pretty easy to 
you know, make yourself even more, you know, quote unquote, conventionally attractive and seriously mislead people easily. And I, I think it's funny. I see comments from time to time uh, throughout social media like, well, I would believe you if you didn't look like this. When, yeah, when I see those comments, it's like, man, you really have no self-awareness as to how malleable you are if all it takes is like perfect teeth to make you believe in something. Nowadays, with all the cosmetic procedures, it's actually pretty easy to alter your face to meet these weird beauty standards that people come to expect as a form of credibility, which is really odd. So it becomes a lot more, a lot easier to manipulate people with sales tactics and layer onto that quite literally all of these filters. Then you have a scenario where people can just say complete BS and people are not thinking critically about the stuff that they are seeing online. It's a crazy world online with the things that are spread around. The latest thing, it has nothing to do with skincare, but I thought I would mention it, is people drinking, putting balsamic vinegar and seltzer water together as a drink. I haven't tried it, but they're trying to tell people that it tastes like Coca-Cola. And come on, man, it, you, you know it doesn't taste like Coca-Cola. It probably tastes like watered down balsamic vinegar. I guess that's, that seems relatively harmless, aside from you know if you put too much vinegar and you're drinking it all the time, I suppose that could be too acidic for the enamel of your teeth, but how it compares acidity-wise to Coke, I'm not sure. Uh, Coke's pretty acidic as well. So yeah, I mean, it's just crazy, the stuff that people come up with on these apps. So long story short, no, I don't recommend taping up your face. Yes, some of these patches like the frownies, the CO patches, they can have a temporary wrinkle smoothing effect by trapping water in the skin and reducing transepidermal water loss. But taping your face up, I mean, it's not gonna be preventative, that's for sure. Prevention is lifestyle factors like eating a healthy diet, getting good sleep, the boring stuff, protecting your skin from the sun, not taping your face up in a strategic way with kinesiology tape. Man, that, when I saw that, I was just like, <laughs> if you have problems with mouth breathing at night, talk to your doctor, rule out an underlying medical cause. Don't just go on TikTok and, you know, start scotch taping your mouth shut. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I had to comment on this because I've seen it everywhere. People are tagging me in their posts. But if you guys enjoyed this video, on the end slate, I'm gonna put my last video where I reacted to some TikTok nonsense. So check that one out. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.